Perfect. So in case you were unaware, the Series 9 as well as the Apple Watch Ultra 2 are the only two Apple Watches that support the double tap gesture. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a creative method where you could unlock some of the useful features of the double tap gesture on an older Apple Watch because right here I have the Apple Watch SE second generation. And if we go ahead and play some music, I can pause and play my track not limited to just the series 9 as well as the ultra 2 and in this video i'm going to go ahead and show you a clear demonstration how you could actually unlock this feature on not just the base model se second generation but every other older apple watch including the series 4 as i have right here that you could also enable let's begin so first things first this is a series 4 apple watch and just to show you, so long as you're on watchOS 10, I have access to my smart stacks. But if we go into our settings, in the setting tab right here, if you scroll down to accessibility and scroll down some more, and in motors where it says quick access, click on here and turn this on. Now if I go ahead and equip this Series 4 and we do something simple like, again, playing something on Apple Music, Put my AirPods Pro Max on, or I mean AirPod Max, we have double tap. Now there is some limitations when you compare it against a device that actually fully is equipped with this, like for instance, my Ultra second generation, because one of its limitations that it has is as a fair comparison on the features, just to be aware of what features are missing. If we double tap on the home page, it'll take us to our smart stack and will actually allow us to navigate our different widgets that we have but by doing this you do have the capability to control your media so whatever youtube video you're like watching on your iphone by simply just doing the double tap gesture it will allow you to pause and play answer phone calls i believe you could also take photos let's find out at the same time right now so i'm gonna go put on my ultra first generation to demonstrate this so again to recap you need to go into your settings and scroll into accessibility and in the mortar section where it says quick actions click on here tap on and now let's play we played the first youtube video that came on my notification and now it shows us that we're playing that video watch this i could pause and play that video right here without me having to pause and play on my iphone so it's really useful especially useful when it comes to answering phone calls it's not just strictly limited to just the series 9 as well as the ultra second generation as you as you witness i was able to perform this same exact feature experience on an older Apple Watch, something as old as the Series 4 Apple Watch. Now, I haven't yet tested this out, but on the Ultra first generation, if we go ahead and launch the camera app, I'm curious now. The Ultra Apple Watch first generation, and I could actually use the double tap gesture to take pictures hands-free without me having to actually manually tap on this to get a like group photo going. That is pretty nifty and amazing. So if I set this down, and hop back onto the Series 4 Apple Watch. And I'll go ahead and start like something simple like a five second timer, just like this. Starting a five second timer, let's see if I could dismiss it. I can. Although it does require a bit of practice. There we go. But I can indeed stop a five second timer on a Series 4 Apple Watch by simply doing the double tap gesture. So really the only limitation that's missing here that I've seen comparing it from the Ultra as well as the Series 9 Apple Watch that both have this feature installed natively is the double tap icon is that and I have access to the smart stacks because with that double tap feature enabled on the older Apple Watches you do not have that ability it just says double tap written on the top portion but there's a clever way you can actually personalize this so I'm going to go ahead and back the Apple Watch SE2 give it some spotlight and if we scroll down to settings and go into accessibility, back into the quick action. If you scroll down where it says appearance, right now by default, it is selected as in full, but if you tap minimum and then do the same motion again, of course, it's not gonna take us to the smart stack. That's only exclusive to the series nine and ultra, but it's not really that important. But if we start like a five second timer again, hit start, wait for it for we could dismiss it. So much faster than series four. It doesn't tell us on top to double tap anymore. It just highlights the subject, but so yes, it's not as perfected compared to the ultra 
second generation as well as the, Ser the Series 9 Apple Watch. And to demonstrate how much more responsive this is, I'm going to do the same 5 second timer on the Ultra 2 that actually is natively supported to feature double tap. It's a lot more responsive. That's the only drawback from having to manually enable this feature versus the Series 9 as well as the Ultra 2. Other than that, I really don't see that many limitations. I see this being a super powerful tool for anybody who owns an older Apple Watch. So long as you're on the later version of WatchOS 10, you'll be able to find this feature again in your settings in the accessibility tab and just look for motor section and quick action. Just turn it off and on and then you have this ability to answer phone calls hands free. Well, by hand, yeah, hands free and not touching the screen. Dismiss times, alarms. And most importantly, the capability to pause and play your media in case you're, you have your hands occupied while cooking, holding a baby, and etc. Just simply doing this definitely does come in handy. But I'm glad it's not an exclusive feature as all the important ones are clearly able to be utilized even up all the way down to a Series 4 Apple Watch model. So if you have an Apple Watch Series 4 or newer, you have this capability to enable this. Hopefully you guys found this video informative. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could actually leave this video a like and subscribe, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. I'm, I'm basically a tech head. I just love covering a lot of tech. I just love making informative tech videos. And if you feel like you need to share this to a friend, family, any loved one that you feel will definitely find this feature useful. I'm sure mothers will love this. Share this video with them. But as always, my name is Eddie. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to watch this video over here where I cover all my favorite tips and tricks you can find on watchOS 10. Thanks so much for watching.